Back from the break, and um, I've already talked about the Andalusian or Andalusian cadence, however you want to pronounce it. There's a proper pronunciation. I hope I've said it correctly at least once today. And um, this is what it is. It's A minor, G, F, E. When a flamenco guitarist decides to um, change keys for the singers and all that, they would usually use a capo, often use, you know, like a... Um, what um, I often see is, uh, well, there's a, one of the great flamenco guitarists, is Paco Pena, and um, he's absolutely, my God, he's a living treasure. And um, I, the, the photo that I've got of him on, on my computer, capo at the first fret, so he's obviously playing in F, okay, so there's that kind of thing. And um, it changes depending on the singing and the kind of uh, rhythm you're doing. Uh, and the kind of uh, song. When we talk about a 12 bar blues or a slow blues, you know, like. I woke up this morning, you know, and all that sort of stuff. There's a certain expectation that you know the mood of the song. Where if you, if you get to. So that's more upbeat. Exactly the same thing happens in flamenco. You can have an upbeat flamenco about the joy of life, the passion of life, and then you can have uh, another uh, kind of rhythm such as a solea, which is like a lament, you know, sort of thing, where the, the singing... <laughs> You know, so that's you know, and that creates a different mood. So it's not such a large jump into flamenco music when you think um, of a kind of music that is highly improvised, like just like jazz and just like blues, uh, in you know that kind of thing, like the good old jam session. And it, but you have certain structures, you know, and then if you have a certain kind of uh, song, there's an expectation to, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, to play in a certain way.